first question that we get asked or that we have been asked by people is mm -hmm. who's the mom and who's the dad? <laughs> yeah, I need people to really understand that <laughs> nobody walks into this house or I walk into <laughs> any room and lay with somebody, okay? Christmas is Christmas. All I want Like, what do people talk about? They're out of breath, but like, 
I could just be sitting here talking or like, you know, it doesn't matter what it is or getting up or doing something. I'd be like, dang, I'm out of breath. I like, just going to the restroom and I'm like, I'm out of breath, you know? Yeah. And I get back in the bed and I'm like, I'm breathing, breathing kind of heavy. Mm -hmm. So I would definitely say that. Um, my legs hurt, mm. you know? Like they, they sometimes even ache at night. Yeah. Like I'm not doing anything, they're just aching. And one thing that I have noticed is that People have told me before, like, oh, you might need to get, like, a pregnancy pillow. And I, I t you tried to get me to get yeah, one. Yeah, I, like, literally sent her some from Amazon. Like, what do you think of this one? What do you think yeah. of that one? And she was basically like, oh, I think I'm okay, okay right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people are like, you need a pregnancy pillow. But now I'm starting to realize I think I need a pregnancy pillow. Because I turn, I saw some turn throughout the night. And I'm mm -hmm. thinking I'll wake you up. But I don't know if I do or not. If I do or don't. But, yeah. um... Yeah, I just feel like I can't figure out because they tell you don't lay on your back. Mm -hmm. um, and then they say the left side, lay on your left side. That's the best side. Okay. Your right side is fine, but the left side is the best side to lay on. And it's really hard for me because I think I'm a right side sleeper. You are. And I really think I'm a back sleeper. Mm. And that's been like my biggest challenge. But um, like last night, like when I'm laying on my right side, because yeah. I do lay on my right side, <laughs> I toss and turn throughout the night, but this side was burning last mm. night. And I was just like, oh my goodness. And you want me to tell you another thing? <laughs> is. Do tell. Yes. Oh my goodness. This is the worst thing because I don't know. It's like whenever you're sleeping, you wake up, even in your sleep, you feel like you need to stretch. Mm hmm. And like so I like stretch my leg, and I, the worst trolley horse I've ever experienced. Mm. Yeah, to so, the point where now I'm like afraid to stretch. Yeah. Well, maybe we, you need to drink more water because I know that's what they say. Water helps with trolley horses. That's what they horses. say. It is, that's what they say. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. Do you, know Do you is there anything that I ever complain about? Um, I think mostly like just your legs, mm -hmm. like being achy or your legs yeah. hurting. But besides that. You kind of had a really good pregnancy, no mm -hmm. morning sickness or any of that. Yeah. Um, how do you kind of feel being at, like, you know, you obviously still work a uh, regular job eight hours a day. Like, how do you feel like being at work, even though you sit down at work? Like, what is it like? It's fine. I, you know, sometimes I am tired and I'm coming back up on, if you guys don't know, I am currently 26 weeks pregnant. So I am, after this week, I am about to enter, I think it's after this week, my third trimester. So I really feel like the tiredness is starting to creep back up on me. Mm. And um, I think that's the biggest thing, though. It's like, oh, my goodness, like I'm tired. I don't want to go to work. Yeah. Like, that's one of the, I don't know, that's probably like my biggest struggle. But I don't have to do a lot of movement at work and sit down all day. Um, so it's not too bad. Okay. It's not too bad. Okay. Um, another question I have for you is... Um, so I know a lot of people like to ask, have you been having any cravings or anything you just kind of has been in a rotation at all times in most of your meals or what? Well, let well. me just say this. <laughs> I'm kind of upset I haven't had any weird cravings. Because mm. you know, like your whole entire life you see these videos or these pregnant women talking about like these weird, like pickle and peanut butter. I don't know. Just name yeah. the weird stuff that they like to do, you know? And I really wanted to experience that. <laughs> Only because you're a foodie. Yeah, like, I just wanted to experience something that was just out of the norm. Like, nobody will think to put this combination together. <laughs> and I honestly have not. But I would say, though, like, one of the things I cannot turn down lately has been sweets. Mm. And I'm not a big sweet person. Yeah. Um, but I love sweets. And I... <laughs> I'm like, my. I have a test coming up soon yeah. where they'll test like my sugar and everything. And I'm so nervous about this test because <laughs> I have, I just can't help but to eat the sugar. Baby be nervous about all her doctor's appointments. She always feel like, okay, this one is a milestone. Yeah. This one is when we find out this. This is when I got to do this. So she always be nervous about her appointments. I think yeah. it's so cool. God has gotten me so far. No <laughs> issues. And I don't know why I'd be nervous. But it's just, you know, it's our first pregnancy. So it's just like, we don't really know. Right. It's like, it's all just kind of like a learning experience. Yeah, literally, we were just talking earlier about like, man... March is going to be here before we know it. Mm -hmm. We're in December right now. Um, I know y'all can't see over to the right, but we have so much stuff over here just from our gender reveal when people brought pampers and 
Uh, now that we have our baby registry set up at Target, um, things, items have been coming to the house. So it's just kind of crazy to just see it pile up. And I know I need to kind of move it somewhere else, but until I can get another shelf for the garage, it's going to kind of sit there. Yeah. It's kind of, I'm surprised I let it sit there that long. Know how to put it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So at some point, we're going to actually go through um, the gifts that have been sent to us mm -hmm. uh, by you all. Um, so we're just going to kind of be doing them as we go. So if you don't see yours on a certain video, just know that we're going to be kind of implementing uh, gifts that we receive for Baby Vaughn in our video. So um, before we even get them or get to that video, just thank y'all for sending us yeah, stuff, sending her stuff. It really means a lot. Mm -hmm. um, y'all are forever ingrained in our family. Yes. Cool. All right. I got another pregnancy question. Okay. Um, what's been one of the things that I have said has been kind of like maybe, what is, what do you think one of the things I've noticed most about you being pregnant? Um, uh, I mean, you tell me I'm fine. <laughs> I can definitely tell you you fine. But what do you mean though? Like, what is, what, what um, do you mean? What, okay, I got in my brain what I want uh -huh. you to say. But what do I say every morning with you now? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. This is a little, like, uh. TMI? Yeah. This too is, much information. It's embarrassing. But let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. So most of the time, and I've asked my doctor about this too, you guys, <laughs> because I forgot. At this point, I'm like, it's really not even a symptom. Like, it's just what I'm, I mean, it, I don't know what it is. But usually when you are pregnant, they say that most women are really highly constipated. Mm. And I have been highly reversed from that. <laughs> highly not constipated, okay? <laughs> so... I, every morning, it doesn't matter what I eat, and the, at the beginning of my, our, well, yeah, at the beginning of the pregnancy, I literally thought I was lactose, mm -hmm. um, but I don't think I am. <laughs> I think the problem is, it's just how, um, I guess, the hormones and everything that's inside of me, each woman is different for each woman that I'm learning, and that um, sometimes your body handles them differently, so instead, it's like my stomach, first thing in the morning, I gotta go. Like, I might go three times a day. Like, gotta go. Gotta go. To the point where I be mad, like... Yeah, especially in the morning, y'all. <laughs> they don't need to know this. Okay, we ain't gotta tell them. But the end of the day, I don't be spraying no air freshener. Yeah, I'm just saying, <laughs> if you know you about to let off an atomic bomb, I don't need you to spray. I specifically bought air freshener. I normally don't buy air freshener. <laughs> we might have, like, wall plugs, stuff here and there. But I specifically bought air freshener. I'm talking about the heavy duty, compact, concealing air freshener. Cause the way she, my baby be letting them off, I be like, you too fine to blow this whole back. It's not me though. It's like not that. me. It's the baby. Cause it ain't. It, so you don't blame me. her. Was it like this before? No. So it's this me. is. I guess it's one of those things I have been going through. <laughs> and then it's so funny though because when I don't use the restroom. Cause it'd be like a like one time within like a couple of weeks that I just it's like one day that I have not used the restroom that entire day I'd be like babe I have not used the restroom <laughs> <laughs> I haven't gone at all today but when I gotta go Ooh -wee. it's like that commercial you know that one commercial <laughs> no okay. they be like gotta go I don't know if that's like a song to it or not but they have to get up and go like yeah 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 for sure. <laughs> Oh my gosh, if I can find it, I'm definitely going to drop it right here. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's, but how it that's is. definitely been one of the things that stuck out for me yeah. during your pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Like, my baby going to air it out, okay? Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> that's funny. All right, I think I got another question. Mm -hmm. Um, What has been, like, the most exciting thing about being pregnant? Um... Oh my goodness, there's so many to me. Um, one of the things that, you know, I'm just going to say this. One of the things that's exciting to me about being pregnant is is just honestly feeling our baby inside of me. Mm -hmm. And, you know, people have said before, like, oh my goodness, it's like something, it's an amazing feeling. It's not. <laughs> it's really not. It's not. <laughs> and I always ask, babe, what does it feel like? I mean, it's just a I'm always asking her, what does it feel like? I don't want to say it. Like, it's just like, people like, isn't it cool? And I'm like, 
It is, but it's, it's not. It's really hard to explain because, I, like I tell babe all the time, like, when I feel her inside of me, it's like confirmation that she's there, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like a beautiful thing because outside of that, it's like, you really don't. You feel yourself. Yeah. You honestly feel yourself. Other than the fact that, you know, you have something inside of you moving. Mm -hmm. And it's like, sometimes you don't really get used to it. Yeah. But it is a beautiful feeling to feel that confirmation that our baby is in there and she's going to be here. Mm -hmm. Like, that's what makes it, you know, to me, that's my meaning of it. Like, it's it's a beautiful feeling. Yeah. Um, am I used to it? No. But <laughs> it still is a beautiful feeling, though. It's just that confirmation, though. They're like, okay, good morning. You yeah. know, like, good night. Or, you know, just like, yeah. hey, baby, how you doing? Like, it's just like one of those things. So, and I love the fact that, like, you know, when you touch me or if I'm touching my belly, I don't know, like, it's just sometimes, like, she'll move. Yeah. You know, and I just feel like that's a little connection um, that we all have, you know. So, that's one of the things. Um, I've also enjoyed just, you know, just being in this moment, honestly, and yeah. trying to figure it out, you know, like, doctor's appointments, trying to figure out. I mean, I'm, I, we're becoming a parent, so it's like trying to, like, it's yeah, like growing like, up. Who's insurance? Yeah, like, know, insurance, like, like, yeah, and, like, being, like, selfless. Yeah. You know? That's, like, it's just one of those things that I was just thinking today, like, you know, we talk about her so much. We do. And then when she's here, she's going to consume so much of our lives. She is. <laughs> like, you know, like, she's going to be... Everything, everything to us yeah so but i don't know it's just so much even like the gifts like i'm enjoying the gifts that we've been <laughs> like to me even though they're not for me it's just exciting for them to be for our baby i know like, baby be like i checked the camera there's like two packages yeah, I, the so excited. I had to open them up i was like okay i'm gonna wait yeah i'm gonna wait to open them yeah. up i think so i opened baby, them too long before but yeah baby's excited to open up the stuff that we've been getting i'm yeah. kind of excited too just yeah. to kind of See what all it is and yeah what about this pregnancy what's been exciting for you um i think just seeing you grow like mm -hmm. it's so weird it's like in the beginning you were so small and even kind of now people still say you're small yeah but i think because i've you're you i see you every me. day yeah. that like just to see it grow see you grow see her grow like to me that's like the most exciting yeah thing. well the fact that i am the one carrying like to you, like, do you feel as if you're missing a part of it, or do no, you... No, not at all. No? Like, like, do you feel like you're, like, you know, like, how do you feel? Um, I feel, I don't know, like I said, I think I'm just excited watching you being pregnant. Yeah. Like, um, to me, that's, like, the most beautiful thing. Yeah. And you haven't missed a beat. I think the craziest thing to me I always used to say that like Noe is a chameleon there because I would I could take Noe to a work function. I could take Noe to the country in Arkansas. I could take Noe to a nice restaurant. I could take her to a hood spot. I can kind of take her anywhere. Well, girl, because I am from the hood now. Okay. <laughs> are effortlessly just perfect. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to explain it. Just in any setting, anywhere we go. So to kind of see you now be pregnant and just to watch how you carry pregnancy, like I can't see anybody doing it better than you. And you just do it. Like yeah. you still come home and cook dinner, probably tired or whatever. You still just are bomb. Okay. So... Um, I would say though with this pregnancy I feel like it's kind of somewhat helped me grow in a way really how yeah just because I feel like I've been having to take care of certain things business like making sure that certain things get done yeah um, that typically is not my thing yeah it's your thing you will be me and, and I I'm do just feel like, like you have taken the back seat which I don't know if I like it or <laughs> not <laughs> like I'll be honest with you so, mm -hmm. you have asked me, though, like, well, just let me know what I need to do, right. you know? But I'm just like, I don't know. I gave you your task. Yeah. Have you listened to I it? I have not. So, my, ta ta <laughs> <laughs> my task is to be finding a 
um, child daycare, yeah. childcare for our child. So uh, we have about four more months. And then obviously, mm -hmm. just when the baby is due, Dory's not going to go right back to work. She's going to have some time. So I really have half a year to figure it out, I think, at least. I don't know. Bare we don't know. This is something new for us. So it's like, we don't know. And a lot of people have told me, like, have y'all found child care? Yeah, but I because feel like we got four months until no, you even deliver. No, but people say, baby, and I, that, that I know that, that there's a waiting list. At the end of the day, if our baby got to wait on a waiting list, our baby got two grandparents that are retired. So we're going to figure it out. Um, I'm going to get on it. I'm going to figure it out. I really am kind of scared to put her into child care. I don't know. I just feel like the world is crazy. Obviously, we're going to find somewhere that has cameras, something that we can just kind of pull up on our phone and uh, mm -hmm. check on her throughout the day. But whatever it is, we just pray that God covers her, covers us during the process, because Lord knows mm -hmm. I'm not even ready to think about that yet. So yeah. that's my one task. Yeah. But uh, like I was saying, at the end of the day, you've yeah. been... Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. great. But like I was saying... Um, I don't know. I just think you carry pregnancy well mm -hmm. and like I'm just proud to be your wife to just kind of see you do it because not too many can, people can do it like you do. Oh, thanks, love. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. That's right. Um, so you just asked me a question, right? Yep. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Yeah. So is it my turn to now ask you a question? Yeah. You got another question? No, me? that was just my question. You're supposed to be asking questions anyways. I just threw that in there because, you know, you obviously asking me how does it feel. I just wondered, like, how do you feel being the person that's watching me go through it? Is something like, you know, like, do you feel like you want to know how it feels? Or you, you know, um, like, what? Like, you know, like, <laughs> are you, like, whenever it comes to that, like, are, like me explaining this, like, you know, it's one thing, but it's like, do you one day want to feel it or go through this or um, something like that? That's why I was just asking. I think I'm going to just stay in the moment with you right now and just mm -hmm. kind of see how that goes. And she wanted to hit a bird. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully make some decisions later on. But yeah, I definitely think I want to see how everything goes before. Right now, you make it look cute. You make it like, I think to myself, okay. Maybe you can do that. Nah, yeah. it is like like I said, like honestly I've been blessed to um to be where I'm at right mm -hmm. now, like as far as like this this pregnancy. Um but I do have like moments though, like I said, like it is hard not to feel sometimes like not pretty in clothes or Really? Like, yeah, like it sometimes it's like I was when I was going through the store the other day, I just kinda like felt to myself like, I don't know what to put on. Like I can't put on anything or yeah. like you get in those I don't know if other people go have gone through this, but I honestly, it's not like one of those things that I'm just like, I get down about. But in that moment, I just felt like, uh, I don't like the way I look in this. But I know yeah. I'm pregnant and everything, but that's just something, you know, it's, it's crossed my mind. <laughs> like, it's been a thought. So I would say that, you know, yeah, I have my moments. Okay. Um, now let's get into like a little bit more personal questions about yeah. how this all came about. So if y'all are just now tuning into Brittany and Dory, realizing that Dory is pregnant at this point, six months pregnant. I know some of you have had questions. Heck, our own family and friends have had questions. Can I throw some of them out there? Yeah, you can throw some of them okay. out there. Okay. Um, you want to th throw your first question out there. Okay. My first question that we get asked, or that we have been asked by people is, mm -hmm. who's the mom and who's the dad? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> no, but you know what, like, I had to learn because to me, it was kind of offensive. Yeah. You know, it is, but sometimes people, we, ha I think we both had to realize that sometimes people just don't know. I understand that, but here is my thought process. People can have what you can have whatever questions you want, but I also want people to use a little bit of common sense. But if in, has that. Yeah, but <laughs> if in if in this marriage I don't want to be called Mister, why would I want to be called Daddy? Yeah. Like if I don't want to be acknowledged or addressed mm -hmm. as a man, why would I now want to take on? a male pronoun yeah. like to me that doesn't make sense so why would i want to be called daddy yeah. i understand there are people out there 
who do. But I feel like the people who really know us, how is that a question yeah. that you have? Because number one, I think we don't have gender roles in our relationship. No. Um, I do feel like we have a feminine, masculine more so, if anything. If like as far as like it wants to become from looks or just yeah. maybe how one of us handles certain things versus the other. Um, but as far as but like roles, like roles are just who we are. We're women. And we're we want to, we want to be with. Like, yeah, <laughs> there isn't a yeah. any guesswork uh, of that. Yeah, and like I said, I feel like the people who really know us, no one who really knows me thinks I want to be a man. Yeah, it's people who maybe like watch a video if you see a picture or something like that. But they don't. I think people don't know because it's sometimes small minded, you know, and they think that there has to be a mom and a dad, and it's kind of like. That's really not what it is. That's if that's the case. Do y'all think I'm wife? She's husband. Like you know, like the right. Like, well, why can't I be wife and you be husband? You know? <laughs> I'm just saying, why can't I be the wife? You are. <laughs> but you know, so I just think that sometimes people don't know. But in this case, in this home, in this life of ours, we are both moms. There is not a dad. Our baby has two moms, and that's just what it is. Period. Yeah. Now, we have had questions, okay, so what is Baby Vaughn going to call you all? Mm -hmm. And we've had that discussion, discussion amongst each other. Mm -hmm. And what are you going to be called? Uh, I'm going to be called, I think I was Mommy. Yeah, and I'm going to be called Mom. Yeah. Now, if Baby Vaughn say Mama, we both answer yeah. at this point. Like, But I call my Mama Mama, so I'm okay to be called Mama. Yeah. So, I mean, but I do feel like our baby's going to... And eventually call us whatever she calls us. Yeah. And that's just what it's going to be. Right. <laughs> so we'll see, that. though. We'll see. Right. Um, You have any other questions um, that you get asked or you feel like? Oh, I know a question that we get yeah. asked. Is your donor black or white? Well. Well. Our donor, we chose. <laughs> That he was a good pet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she lying. <laughs> but we chose the African American donor. Yes. I think we told him this before, maybe. I don't remember. The yeah, we got no. In the video where we were leaving, eating with the family, yeah. and I said, like, no, our donor's black. I'm black. Dory's black. Yeah. We black. We wanted a, we black, wanted donor. a black donor. Um, um, yeah. <laughs> I think it's a now this I will say is a valid question because if you've gone through this process you know that there are not a lot of African-American donors mm -hmm. out there so kudos to those families that find a donor that they like and they're able to go with it yeah uh, we understand how you can possibly have to lower some of the things you want when it comes to this process because you get tired of waiting or nothing's coming up on the portal. Um, so we are thankful that we were able to find donor that we like, actually happen to love, and uh, yeah. Yeah. Good job, baby. It was meant to be. It was meant to be. Yeah. It was meant to be. <laughs> um, so piggybacking off of that, um, what process did you go through? Because we have had... We do have people, and these are people who, for real, for real, don't know us. They be like, they be asking Dory, I think. Okay, you want me to explain? <laughs> well, how? How are you pregnant? Yeah, so Did you I lay have, on your back? Yeah. Like, what? And I just be like, all right now. Yeah, I need people to really understand that <laughs> nobody walks into this house or I walk into <laughs> any room and lay with somebody, okay? <laughs> like people really think this, y'all. Yeah, I cannot like, make this how up. How did that happen? How did y'all get? Um, how did y'all? How did she? How is she pregnant? You know, and to me, I have made a point on this before, and I hope you guys are watching this. But um, either way, it is what it is. You know, I've heard people ask people, um, you know, how I got pregnant or whatever, and I just my really my answer is, did you tell me congratulations? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Right. That'd be my thing. Like, don't be asking questions about me. Are you, are you sending me a gift? Like, you know what I'm saying? Don't ask no questions about me and you don't even, you ain't even congratulating me. But anywho. Right. Like, you're not checking for me, but you're yeah, checking, but you for, checking me. for me. But you're wondering how we doing it. But I ain't going to get all into that. I ain't going to tell you that's me. But 
you know, I just really feel like I get it. People want to be like, well, how they do it? Y'all, this is 2021, okay? Right. Um, I mean, this is, this is not even something new, honestly. But right. there is processes, there is ways. Obviously, we found a donor. We decided to do IUI, which is artificial insemination, um, which is not IVF. People, I get that all the time. They ask me like, well, God, like how y'all like y'all did IVF? There is a difference between IUI and I, IVF, but in vitro, obviously. Yeah. But I don't. I that's not what we did. We didn't go that route. Um, thank God we didn't have to go that route. Right. Um, because a lot more pricier, and IUI can get pricey too. So, you know, I'm. I mean, yeah. <laughs> like they're both pricey, but. The IVF is a lot more pricier than IUI, but we did pick a donor. We don't have a, it's not a known donor. Um, so it, no one came in, came, literally no one came. <laughs> okay. Inside of me, um, naturally, okay? Literally no one came. No one came in that. <laughs> they get it, man. Okay. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think people ask that question all the time or wonder how it's happened. And honestly, um, no disrespect if somebody else did it that way because, you know, everybody's funds is different. But, or everybody's set up different, you right. know what I mean? So, but not us. So, I mean, that's just not how we would have went about it. Yeah. No, definitely not. Like, I don't care how much it would have cost. Like, yeah. Yeah. How much? <laughs> Okay. Where's the doctor? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, like, no. We're no, not doing that. Definitely not doing that. So, you guys, don't ask us that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but I do get hit up a lot of, quite a bit about, um, like, the doctor we, um, oh, yeah, we found. And honestly, I'll just say this, though, um, the doctor that we did find, she doesn't do it, but she happened to do it for us. Yeah. So I'll just say we got lucky. So yeah, we got we're lucky. not trying to not give you that information, mm -hmm. but she, our doctor does not do, do this procedure. She yeah. has someone that she refers out who is also an African American mm -hmm. doctor that yeah. that does it. Um, so we'll, we don't mind giving you her information mm -hmm. uh, for you to be able to book, but we just don't want you to think you're going to be able to use our same doctor to do yeah. this process. Yeah, anymore. not that we, like, if she was definitely doing it, I'll definitely throw her out there like that. Yeah. But um, whenever I asked, obviously she told me she doesn't, but she ended up just doing it for us. Mm -hmm. So we obviously was blessed and got lucky. Yeah. You know, um, and she did it, and obviously it worked. So, you know, like I said, we definitely can refer you all to some other doctors that we have heard that were amazing mm -hmm. here in Dallas, Texas. But as far as our doctor, we want to keep that, you know, confidential. Yeah. So, Ooh. yeah. <laughs> At the end of the day, in fact, if we come down to it, me and Brittany will handle it. Right. That's all it is. Just the moment if it ever comes to that. But point, to try to assume that she's going to want to know. That's just people just, just talking. You know, it is what it is. You know, people just don't know. But I ain't going to tell you shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nothing else. Yeah, I don't play about my marriage. I don't play about my wife. <laughs> it's two things I don't play about. Like some people I just be wanting to go off on. But God. Is working on me. Okay. I said he's working on me. Okay. I said he's working on me. <laughs> Cause baby already know I will go left quick. Mm mm mm. I want to see that. <laughs> Definitely not. Mm -hmm. oh, she kicking. She kicking. Mm -hmm. Probably cause she know. Mm -hmm. Telling me to calm down. <laughs> Anyway, give them a baby update. Show them your belly. Be a belly update. Belly, belly, belly update. Belly, belly, belly shot. Belly, belly, belly shot. Belly, belly, belly shot. I oh, know people still sometimes they don't look down and be like, and then they bring these rugs on my stomach and be like, oh, I did not know. I know. <laughs> but you guys, this is where we're at. Wow. Six and a half months now. Yeah. Crazy. You six and a half or I'm, six? I'm six and a half months pregnant. Girl. Girl. <laughs> Girl. Look at that. 
Look at mama belly, bubba. Let's put your paws up there. Look at mama belly. I was say that. I don't even know if Creed even realizes it or not yet. You don't? Uh-uh. I don't know. It makes me kind of sad. Why? Because I want, I want them to be best friends. They will be. I feel like they will be. I want them to be best friends. And I want him to just be like super overprotective. Yeah. He already a little cray cray, yeah, so I is. think he will be definitely <laughs> overprotected. Yeah, he is. He will be. Well, I think that's all we have for them today, though. I think that's all we got for y'all. Yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Right. Because we're going we gonna to cut the camera off and be like, girl, we forgot to no, tell them about this. Ask that. I got one last bonus question. Okay. And y'all know I had to make it a little bit nasty. But during your pregnancy, what has your sex drive been like? Like, do you feel like it's changed any? It's kind of dropped off? It's like, kind of dropped off in the last. I feel like at first it kind of was um, picked up. Mm -hmm. And now I feel like it's kind of dropped off. Oh. <laughs> but I did hear, like, you know, I think everybody's different though. Because sometimes <laughs> they say it goes into drive. And then sometimes people say people's hormones be so, like, all over the place that they don't even want to be touched. Mm. And it's not that I don't want to be touched. Honestly, I'm not even going to lie to you. I do. I just don't really like to initiate it sometimes because I be tired. <laughs> and I really just be like, I really can't, like, you know, I don't, I I be wanting it. But at the same time, I really want to go to sleep too. <laughs> is that, is it bad? Yeah, no, no, because I be ready to go to sleep too. <laughs> That's really how it is though. And I'm just going to be real. Like, it's not like I don't want to. Like, I think about it all the time. I really do. <laughs> But it's like, I really be tired at the same time, baby. So please, please, just forgive me. You already know I don't even be dripping. I don't. Sometimes I'm like, should I go ahead and initiate it? And then I'll be like, but I'm really tired, baby, tomorrow. <laughs> and then tomorrow I'll get here and then I'll be tired again. Trust me, I'll be on the same page. Y'all right. be like, I. but this is what I've gotten good at. I've gotten good at telling my baby that... Like, either she's sexy or I want you right now. I don't really be wanting to do anything. I just want her to know that I want her. So, sometimes I just be like, I really do want you right now. Yeah. That's it. That's all. Why you sound so big? I don't know. Because you talking a little nasty. So, I'm just smiling because it's about that time to go bed. <laughs> anyway, we done with this video. We hope y'all have enjoyed uh, just this pregnancy q and I've enjoyed my baby as always, both of them. Uh, Cree obviously had to jump up here and join in. <laughs> but, but, but. Anyway, um, drop some of the questions y'all have down below for us. Um, maybe we'll do another pregnancy Q&A at seven months. I don't know. Just give us some questions that maybe y'all have after watching us. Some of y'all been rocking with us for a long time. Um, so most of y'all kind of know our vibe, how we are. For you newbies who have questions, go ahead and drop them below. Just keep them respectful. And as always, we're going to return the love. Yeah, and welcome. Yeah, welcome to the channel. We done got a few newbies yeah. that joined us. <laughs> so tell them what they need to so do. So make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment below. Yeah. And rock with us. Yeah. That's all you gotta do. And then go ahead and hit that notification button. So anytime we drop a new video, y'all will be able to rock with us. Y'all already know what time it is. We about to get out of here. So with that being said, it's your girl, Brittany. And Dory. And we are Brittany, Brittany and Dory. Dory. Peace. Tell me that this feeling is real. I can't do that. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why I just came to my head. I don't know why I just came to my head. Say you never walk away. Will you please stay? Stay. <laughs> <laughs> Stop what you're doing, hit the subscribe button. And if you've been subscribed, then you've been riding with us. Ain't nobody gonna hold you down like I do. Stay true to you like I do. Adore you like I do Clean for you like I do Cook for you like I do